What's up everybody, today we're gonna learn something cool, it's Saturday Art and we're gonna learn how to create a cool bridge like this. So in this video you're gonna learn how to create this kind of bridge inside Unreal and you only using the modeling tools. So let's get started, let's create a new level, let's create our time of day level because it's cooler, why not? And let's delete all unnecessary entities here. All right, let's ch change this to one, minus one, minus two. All right, there you go. So let's start creating the base of the bridge. Um, by doing that, I already have some assets from Megascans folder. Let's take a look at what I have here. Uh, so I go to Megascans, look through static mesh. I have a lot of them. So let's go through wood, wooden beam, maybe this one, let's see. Alright, so this, this one can work. Let's, let's get another one for variation. Okay. Okay, this one can also work. Alright, let's take a look at another wooden plank. For example, this one. Th I think this one can work. Yeah, alright, this one. Perfect. Let's scale it uniformly all right so it's very simple to create a bridge inside Unreal and we don't have to go outside so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the bridge we're gonna use the modeling tools and then we're going to optimize the mesh so that for those of you who are making games then you don't have to worry about performance so let's get started let's create some wood planks Let's just say something like this. Start with this one and then we will add variation. Um, because it's Art Saturday, we're gonna do some really cool stuff too. We're gonna go through some art fundamentals so you can make your games look a little bit better. So let's just duplicate this one. Let's going to rotate it. Let's duplicate the three of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, like this, rotate them. It's good to not have the snapping on so you can have more natural look. So let's do it a couple of times more here. You can see I, I miss one of them, no, do not worry. And then let's take a look at this one and then rotate it like this. So this one already have a lot of variation so let's Let's do some more variation here. You can see that here, and this is go through all our fundamentals. You have a pattern, and it goes like this. All ups are pointing up. So by the same principle, you want to have something like this, and then you want to break it up. For example, you want to make some of this, some of this, some of this, some horizontal, something like this, and then you have like an interesting pattern. This one is a little bit sad, so we need to change it. So the way we're gonna change it, we're just gonna rotate this a little bit. All right, first let's change the pattern. Rotate this one, maybe something like this. Some wood planks like this. I remember when I was uh, outside, there was a bridge like this where they would put planks for people to cross. It was very, very cool, very dangerous. Do not recommend it, so. Maybe something like this. Ah, I'm going to the same direction always. Let's do something different. Let's do scale. Let's do the scale now. This something like this. And then maybe this one can be duplicated. And do the scale like this. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Something different. Okay, this one looks better. Right, so I just need to connect the bridge here. There you go. And duplicate this a bunch of times. And now if you're wondering, it's like, what about performance? We'll take a look at it later, so don't worry. Uh, let's tackle this problem again. And the reason why this looks so bad is because all the distance here are kind of the same. Uh, of course we have all the same patterns here so let's let's fix this very very easily first can 
something more like this. All right. Duplicate it. Move a little bit down. Select a bunch of those a little bit down. Rotate it a little bit. What about this one? Rotate, rotate, it's bended. Rotate it. Rotate again. Oh, this looks a little bit better. Let's put this one here. We have a floor to work with. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. So now what we can do is do more variation here something like this all right now I want to have some planks to support this one so I'm gonna go here and I'm going to put it like this and you can see that I have my planks here maybe maybe like this okay so I have something like this and I put it here and I will just duplicate it, duplicate it, alright, do some variation, rotate it, rotate a little bit, something like this, cast some lights, rotate again, alright, let's go same here, and you want to work smarter, not harder, so we will just rotate 180 degrees, paste it here check if this is in the right position it's better to fix it now than later okay now we have now we have something now now we have something cool so let's save this level test uh, let's call it bridge we don't want to lose the progress so now what I'm gonna do here is select all of this this is a very easy way to select all of this you select select all matching classes and you will see I have all of them and then I will select this ones here hope you cannot hear the noise because there are a lot of people coming out here I mean I'm in the street recording this so just bear with me so I put it like this a little bit up yeah all right so what we are gonna do is bend this how we do this we are gonna combine them. First we're gonna combine all this. So we're gonna go here, modeling, and then go to transform and then we will combine. And I'm gonna create a new asset. We're gonna delete the sources and yeah that, that, that's it. So if you put first input asset, it will mean it will change the LFD of this one, which I don't want. So I'm gonna put new asset, and then I'm gonna click set. All right, so we have our new asset here, same as before, and we have the pivot point on the middle. You can also change the pivot point, edit pivot point. You can put it in the center, bottom, top, left, right, very very cool stuff now we're gonna keep using the modeling tools by the way if you don't have this check the other video where you can check about modeling tools in Unreal so you can go here to plugins and click on modeling edit modeling ed tools editor mode I will link in the description some links below so you can see but for now we're gonna worry about that deform so we're gonna keep to deform and we're gonna do space deform and you can see what this does is create this band here which is exactly what we want we want something like this and you can also rotate this so you can have some twist on it very very cool so this one is very cool you can also change this one to 30 for example to make it more dramatic so this is very cool stuff so you can see I, I mess up my my thickness here so I'm gonna cancel and I'm gonna do space the form again and this time I'm gonna let's just play with that yeah there you go there you go 
do some twist and then you can put like 10 and you can change the the position of this thing the handle so you can influence this part maybe one part or, or not the other one so I think this this works I think this one works perfectly you can maybe a little bit more 15 yeah we can do that all right so let's let's skip this one let's skip this one let's not get into details for now now we're gonna scale this up let's scale this one up let's select all of them select all geometry with the same material that one also works let's just scale a little bit like this all right now we are having something here all right so let's do something else just for the sake of demonstration what you can do with this is you can select select some meshes here and if you don't like something you can delete it so select brush you can say all connected I can check here I can see all my connected pieces of this one are selected and I can just click delete and I can do the same for all the pieces I don't want in my case I want them all so don't worry I can also move them for example I can go to the form sculpt and then go to the move to and you can see is my shadows are compiling there you go you can move this one here a little bit just it you can move this one down this one up all right do a lot of things with this a lot of variation here there you go and then accept now look at what we have our bended bended uh, bridge so one thing we're gonna do now is we have a lot of polygons a lot of them and if we check here in the polygroups inspector we can check all our attributes here show seams polygon borders etc etc and we have a lot of polygons actually so let's take a look at this one I see 200,000 that's pretty much unacceptable for a game and depending on the thing you're doing maybe right maybe not but in our case no bueno so how do we fix this very simple man very simple let's go to the form uh, triangles actually triangles and we not, we're gonna hit the simplify one uh, you can see I already simplified by 50% that's a lot but I want to go more like 25 how about 10 is 10 good enough? Is this slow poly enough? I think so. Let's go for 15. Just because we can have fellow this. Just 20. Alright, let's give it at let's give it at 20. Alright. So this is our bridge. Now it looks a little bit strange because we haven't connected some parts of it. So what I'm gonna do is create some ropes. So very simple. I'm gonna create a torus and um, I'm gonna use different settings just say 125 uh, 50 all right maybe maybe a hundred no 135 okay this can work so let's choose this one and this will be our rope so let's save all of this and we're gonna apply a material Luckily for me, I already have a material from the Megascans folder. Let's go to surfaces. And here I should have something here. Here, there you go. My rope. So if I click here, you can see I have my rope. I just need to scale this down and put it here. So it's a little bit funny, like a donut here. I can always modify the mesh. But for now, just gonna call it like this. 
There you go. A little bit funny, but you know it adds a lot to this. It add, it adds a lot to the piece. So we're gonna go something like this, and then modify it a little bit. There you go. So what you wanna do is just duplicate this one. Uh, you can do the same here and the same here and so on and so on right so you can also do something like this you can delete one of them and then just put it here like why not all right let's keep doing this it's gonna do a little bit faster I don't want this video to be too long but at the same time I don't want to leave you with you know some hidden secrets so let's do the same duplicate all right duplicate again Duplicate, duplicate, all right, and duplicate here. I'm gonna rotate it, and um, we can do the same here. Go here, maybe delete one of them to some variation. Rotate this one, okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we can keep like this forever, so let's just keep the video shorter because there is something else I want to show you is um, blueprint. If you want a video about the blueprint, just uh, let me know in the comments and I will get you some of them here. So have a PP roof. You can see it's a little bit big. Yeah, I screwed up the base mesh. It's a little bit bigger for what it should be. So. What I can do with the spline is just go here, make it smaller. There you go, much, much more believable. And I'm gonna choose this one, put it up. All right, and I'm gonna choose the splines and I'm gonna move them here. You can see the texture stretches, no worries. Right click, add spline here, and then just do something like this. All right, so. Very simple you can add another one here I can rotate like this very cool I want to uh, link in the description some tutorial about how to how to do this so I don't think it's necessary to do another tutorial other, other guys have done tremendous good job showing how to create this and to be honest I don't know how it works I just follow it <laughs> so um, yeah so let's just duplicate this one just like this yeah and I mean you can you can change this one you're just gonna keep keep doing something like that delete some points delete this one and then this one yeah all right Let's repeat the same process. Maybe this one goes down more. All right. So let's just say I want to have it like this. Because let's, I don't want to keep duplicating. It's getting boring. But you can do it if you want. There's one more thing I want to show you. Is how to optimize this if first we can create all of this and the fastest way is you can see is have 44,000 44, triangles so uh, I think it's okay but we go to LOD click on LOD group let's select level architecture click yes and you will automatically generate the LODs for this asset based on a preset so if you go back 
can see now this is way more acceptable all right so what if you want to use this asset in another place well let's check all of this click here let's see if we there is any easier way to select this okay let's just select all of this and deselect the directional light the sky atmosphere looks okay to me except this one all right so we can create a mesh from this one uh, or what we can also do is create a proxy mesh so what a proxy mesh is is essentially a baked mesh um, we're gonna right click merge actors and we're gonna go to harvest geometry here into a single mesh and we have different different settings so let's choose merge actors uh, we're gonna do the test here proxy test and what it will do is lower the quality but if you want to have different assets like in a distance or something like that then this one can work and also if you're optimizing a game this one can also work very well so you can see what it does it creates a proxy material which is a bake of all the textures here and the materials and the colors and it creates a pro proxy mesh just like this very simple you can see the geometry is super simple two dozen triangles can get more simple than, than this so you can see I have still have my mesh here but if I go here I have my bridge now you don't like the pivot point and the reason is if I go to the origin zero the proxy mesh always save the pivot point on the origin so if you want to modify this you can go to modeling here and then go to transform edit pivot go to the center then maybe go to the bottom and just click OK and now you have another asset you can use here very easy all right very very cool so uh, I hope you learned some things from this video if if you like it give me one of these subscribe for more videos like this let us know in the comments what kind of video you want to know subscribe don't forget to subscribe do not miss any single video and I'll see you in the next one